there, beautiful people. Welcome to Weaves of Waves. Yeah, I'm back. I had a break. So many things are happening in the world. It's ridiculous. And I've been doing a lot of gardening. I've just done four hours of gardening today in this sweltering hot British summer. <laughs> it got 28 degrees out there now. Yeah, I'm, I know, but when I used to that sort of uh, temperatures, and I go bright red and I'm soaked. But, oh dear, I'm proud of myself, you know. I built a business up from nothing. I wasn't going to sit on my ass and claim benefits. I bought a bit, got a business. I'm a gardener. I mow lawns for £10 an hour, which is way too cheap. I've got to put my prices up. But, oh dear, I'm 50 years old and I'm slogging my poor body, putting it through hell. You go to bed every night with your muscles burning, burning, burning. And you do the same again the next day. You know what? I'll show you some photographs sometimes. I'm really proud of what I'm doing. <sighs> but I'm angry at the world and I don't feel valued. Never have done. You know, everybody says it's a self-esteem. You know, you, you're not feeling, you know, that you're not being valued is because of your self-esteem. But it's the other way around. Um... If you value people on how much money they can earn, I'm I'm a waste of space. I'm just I've never earned enough to get by. So taking my own self-esteem from what I am earning is useless. So I've never so I stopped that because I actually I haven't got that low self-esteem. I actually quite like myself. I just could never earn my living in this on the in this society. Um, doesn't value my skills as an acupuncturist, doesn't value my skills as a massage therapist, tarot card reader, I did dental nurse nursing once upon a time, I've done an air stewardessing. I, my careers are like all over the place, like I've tried so many things to find <sighs> approval from society. What does society want from me? I don't know. I'm still trying to find out. But I do know that I've got a few years of doing this, but I can't do it forever. It's going to, like, I'm getting old. <laughs> My bones. Ouch. And also, I'm not built for this. This is, yeah, this is man stuff. I, I was watching uh, a very young lady. She's beautiful. She's absolutely stunning. She's on YouTube. Sydney Weston? Wester? Something like that. But she's she's smart. She's She's American. She sounds American. And she's smart, she's intelligent, she's beautiful. It's, it's just an awesome combination. And she has been talking about all kinds of things that, oh, wow, I'm so proud of her. And it's, it's just listening to these young people who are awake and aware and strong and, oh, I'm proud of them. There was a, a guy on the Richie Allen show yesterday. Um, he's Irish. Oh, it was just lovely listening to that Irish accent. Um, it was just beautiful for the fact that he's passionate. He's a, an ice hockey player who's just resigned because his country is bringing in medical apartheid. And, oh, it's just beautiful. He's got kids and how he's bringing them up. And I'm just so proud of these people. It, it gives us hope because, yeah, the last couple of days have not been that hopeful. Um, I'm, I'm English. I'm British. Um, and, yeah, our government is screwing us over big time but it's expected most of us could see this coming seriously could see it coming and it's going to get worse and unless people rise up but you know what British people are not that good at that oh bless the French the French are excellent at it awesome stuff and they've already got their guy to turn around and stop this it's amazing how they brought out the same message within a week of each other <laughs> ah, must have been coincidence uh, there's so many things that you watch and you just know, and it's bullshit. And listening to people like Richie Allen and, yeah, and oh, some of the doctors um, and epidemiologists, can't even say the word, but uh, guys that know shit and you listen to them and they're like filling you in on the stuff that you don't know and it's very educational. Um, and thank you for sharing your messages. And I think if we could keep that up, that would be great without sensitive censorship. But who knows? I don't know. I haven't got all the answers. I'm just doing. I'm just a humble gardener. 
who's not being valued, who probably should charge more. <laughs> oh dear, I had a pair of headphones that I used to listen to and I really miss them, but now they don't pair up. Now I'm thinking it's the state of affairs. I used to enjoy listening to my podcast while I'm gardening and now I can't and it's it's irritating. And I'm looking at this technology that I spent money on and it doesn't work properly and I'm like, grr, grr. First world problems, huh? But how bad can this get? And it's it's looking pretty grim. It's looking very grim. And it's can we find hope with one another? I mean, I don't have a community I don't have a, a garden I use other people's gardens but I can't grow my own food I can't stock up I can't prep um, in England we're not allowed guns you know this is yeah they have us by the short and curlies literally and I'm not sure what the solution is to this I don't know whether the people could rise up and say oi no enough like the French did, or they'll just say, "Yeah, no problem, roll over, get my, get my, get shafted once more." So this is one of the reasons I haven't been doing this. But I'm do I'm concentrating on other projects um, because it's less political. Um, it's less. Uh, I would very much like to do online courses. If anybody's got any any suggestions on how to go about this, but I feel I've got some is my knowledge, is my experience. Um, I may have many, many careers behind my belt, but I mastered quite a few of them. I got quite good at some at some of them. And yeah, I think I have something to share there and something to teach. I enjoy teaching, I enjoy guiding. I miss it. There was a time in my life when I guided a few people and it was fun. It, it, it's also painful. You can get stabbed in the back by some of them <laughs> when they grow past you and then they think, right, Let's, let's get it. Ah, life. I'm starting to not take things very seriously anymore. Um, even death. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in that any more than I believe in life. Um, so, so be it. People gonna die, okay? People are dying, so be it. It happens right the way through. So, yeah, and they're gonna feel pain and you're gonna have young people doing the same and there's not much we can do about it so I'm starting to come to a point where I'm in resigned mode okay a resignation to what is happening so I surrender to it and that's not come easily because I will fight for myself I will fight for my point of way of view and my way of life but I don't feel the need to fight for someone else who won't fight for themselves who want to stay home and out of the rain. They don't want to um, dance in the sunshine because they might get burnt. Well, I'm getting burnt in the sunshine and I don't give a fuck. It's that sort of way of bring it on because I can't adapt to this world. I will not change myself to be compliant. It's not going to happen. And I've started to feel negative emotions to those that do. Um, and that's, I understand that those emotions are not good. I do. Um, it's best to feel nothing at all for them than the contempt. So, yeah, I have to back away and reassess stuff. Because I don't, I believe that the emotions and the war that is being fought right now is on the spiritual level. I can see it. It's going on. Oh, it's, you know, the, it's biblical. <laughs> I don't like Christianity, but they did put, to, they did recall the biblical stuff of the hearts and minds of men. Uh, the hearts and minds of men. And when you can see how easily the hearts and minds of men are corrupted Oh, corrupted to the core. We are facing degradation, pedophilia. Oh, degradation of women, um, children, you know, men. <sighs> you know, I watched a policeman beat up a woman. There was a couple of policemen on the street the other day. And once it was like, silly woman shouldn't have been there. 
Yeah, victim blaming. Two, where are the strong men protecting her in her life? And three, corruption in the police force. We protect, used to serve and protect, and now they beat up a woman. They punch a woman on, who's lying on the ground, punch her in the face. Oof, jeez, times have changed. So how are we meant to respond to that? Are we meant to just look away? Because that's what society expects. I've never done what society expects me to do. I don't know how. If society expected me to rip off people and, yeah, sell shit that I know is rubbish and do a job that I know is wrong, um, all my life I've come across that. And I don't want to. I won't. I cannot do what other people expect me to do. I won't do what other people expect me to. So how can I exist in a world that is perverted when the degradation of women... I mean, okay, <laughs> you can't even use that word now. We're now like... Ah, uh, Sydney Weston put it really well. She, she, you've got to check out her YouTube channel. I admire these people so much because she points out the obvious, and I've seen it, but I don't know how to put it across, not half as well as she does. And, yeah... This is an attack on women. This is attack on children. This is attack on men. This is attack on all of us, but it's uh, race, color, religion. Yeah, it's attack on every level. And wow, is it impressive. <laughs> if I was on the other side, I would be like, woo, we're doing really well right now. We're splintering the society. We're causing waves of massive amount of fear. People are scared to come out their homes. Wow, that's impressive. Um, yeah. So the people that we can look to to give us hope, I suppose they're out there. But I think for myself, I prefer looking within. I prefer looking around and seeing beauty and being connected to source, my source. I don't believe in guides and angels, demons. I don't believe in any of that. Now... I don't believe in visible friends. <laughs> no invisible friends in my life. Sorry. No spirits, no angels, no channeling. I I looked into all that. They're all, to me, they're not real. Um, sorry. I am the sole person in my head. There are no other voices but me. And that is where I get my strength because I cannot waver from what is me. You cannot hide from the shadows that is me. So everything that I am is me. And I am not, uh, I'm influenced, absolutely, but I am not corrupted unless I choose it. I will not be corrupted by this. I cannot, I cannot bend in this area where I was taught. Mm, I was taught to be flexible and fluid and allow your views to not offend and to please but I'm too old for that shit now um yeah I can't sell my bodies on my body on OnlyFans nobody's gonna look and I just get them laughing so what I'm gonna sell my body as a, a laborer as a you know dig in a ditch for you know until I fall over and sort of thing I'm not gonna not going to comply to this and it's a psychotic world and Jeez, you really start to understand the meaning of that word. <sighs> of such beauty. And then people come along and change it like this into something that's so ugly. And you think, okay, outside sources, huh? So where's it coming from? A wave of outside sources. Now, I haven't got anything, any in my head except me. So where is the outside source coming from? This is the curiosity thing. A wave of frequency that is corruption. Well, in my universe, the wave of corruption has to come with a wave of its opposite, which is duality. It has to. So hope. Hope and what is the opposite of corruption? Purity innocence hmm. things to think about anyway I love you lots please take care of yourselves and each other and I'll hopefully speak to you soon bye now